Virtually every major news outlet says they heard from a Department of Justice official tonight who says there are no new indictments in the final report. That would be something for the president to celebrate after being investigated for two years. Of course, many others did get in trouble. 34 people have been indicted in the Mueller investigation. Six are President Trump's associates. That includes Michael Cohen, Michael Flynn, Rick Gates, Paul Manafort, George Papadopoulos and Roger Stone. Five of those men have already pleaded guilty. If what that unnamed DOJ source is saying is true, plenty of people will want to know why. Why wasn't the president interviewed as part of the investigation? What speculation about POTUS has been patently false? False. Both sides, including President Trump, have asked for the entire report to be made public. That's up to the Attorney General, and if he does release the report, the Senate and House Judiciary Committees would see it first. Colorado Republican Congressman Ken Buck and Democrat Joe Neguse hold seats there. Buck's team told me he's unavailable all weekend for comment. Joe Neguse found his way onto MSNBC tonight and said, well, nothing. But I think it's hard to speculate until we've actually seen the I'm report. Asking I would hope uh, that the underlying rationale is detailed in the report. I mean, that's why it's important to get this report. Again, I want to read the report so I understand better precisely why he was not interviewed. I'd like to see the report. It's why I you know I sound like a broken guy. record. Robert Mueller's spokesperson said today that the special counsel will finish his service up in a couple of days. It's got me wondering. What does a guy who spends two years overseeing arguably the most controversial investigation of our time do now? Something tells me there's a beach involved. I'm Ryan Herrer, 9 News.